Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, and today's cocktail is the Porto Prince. Now, it was created by Don Beach, aka Don the Beachcomber, in the 1930s. But we're actually using the uh, version that comes directly out of the Smuggler's Cove cocktail book from 2016 by Martin Kate. Now, interestingly enough, in here they actually reference the fact that they've taken inspiration from Jeff Berry's Sip and Safari cocktail book, and that's from 2007, and this was printed a year before the 10th anniversary of that version, which was 2017. Now, having said that, I'm going to keep the book open for a bit because it has an interesting uh, uh, amount of ice that goes into this cocktail, and I want to read that directly for you off that. But first, let's put everything together in the glass, and we'll get started. Now, we are going to start this with a Haitian rum, which of course you'd use with a cocktail called Port-au-Prince. Now, I got nothing else to say, but this is a four-year-old bourbon court. It's a rum agricole, meaning an agricultural rum, and it's a French-style rum. And we're going to use an ounce and a half or 45 mils. Now, your next ingredient is a flernum. I'm using a little bit of uh, homemade flernum from my friend Rob from Rob the Home Bartender. Uh, he sends me some of this stuff every year. Absolutely fantastic stuff. But we're going to use half an ounce or 15 mils. Our next ingredient is some citrus. And for that, we're going to use a little bit of lime juice. So take a lime, give it a little bit of a roll just to loosen up all the membranes on the inside. And what you want to do is just cut this in half. And what we'll do is squeeze and measure out half an ounce and pour that directly into the glass. Our next ingredient is pineapple juice. Now I'm using a 100% pure pressed pineapple juice, meaning there's no sugar added. However, use what you can get. If you have real pineapple or fresh pineapple juice, absolutely fantastic. But you don't need a lot of this. We're going to use half an ounce or 15 mils. Next, we need to actually sweeten this up a little bit. And for that, we have to use a demerara syrup. Now I've just cooked mine a little bit longer, so it's actually got a bit stronger in the caramel flavors, but you don't need a lot of this. It's a quarter of an ounce, which is seven and a half mils. Your next step in the process is some aromatic bitters. And for that, we're using a little bit of the good old angle. Oh, all right, now that I've cleaned up my mess, <laughs> and I apologize for the swearing. However, uh, as I said, we're gonna use some aromatic bitters, and for that, we're using Angostura bitters, and you need a total of one dash. Our next ingredient is some grenadine. Now, I just don't happen to have any homemade grenadine handy, but I do have some roses, so you can lambast me and make me feel bad in the comments. Uh, having said that, we don't need a lot of this. We need the same amount, so we're looking for approximately one dash of grenadine as well. And for reference for the amount of uh, grenadine, you'll notice that although there's a lot of versions of this recipe online and they all say the same thing, they have a varying difference of redness in the cocktail. And that allows you to tell that some people have really adjusted it for their preference and for pictures. Now, I did say I wanted to read what this actually said for uh, um, the ice and what it says to add all the ingredients to the drink of course yes fill with 12 ounces of crushed ice and four to six small agitator cubes flash blend and open pour with gated finish into a footed pilsner's glass <clears throat> so we're not going to do that because you know what truth be told i don't have a, a milkshake thing so you know what, I'm not gonna flash bend it, I can't. So, what we can do is we can actually uh, just shake this with crushed ice, and you're gonna want about, as it said, 12 ounces, I'm not worried about agitator cubes, but you are going to shake this for a good 10 seconds solid. So you just wanna make sure that, of course, you shake it with a smile, and it seems like a very long time to actually shake a cocktail, because it, you're going to get a lot of dilution, right? And I'm sure you're getting bored with me shaking this, but one of the things you're going to notice is you're getting a really good frost level on here. So what has happened is it's chilling itself very, very fast and diluting a lot faster. So pop this open with the strength of a heck of a lot of crushed ice. Now what we are going to do is we're going to use this same glass and we're just going to pour it directly in. 
Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous and a fantastic kind of pink grapefruit color, but just a little off color. So you want to garnish this with a lemon wedge and then, that's a lime by the way, not a lemon, and grab yourself a straw, just jam it in there and give it a sip. Mm. Really good. The florinum is there. You get a little bit of that rum. You get the sweetness from the Demerara sugar and the grenadine. Some fantastic color. And it's well balanced by the pineapple juice and the lime. If you like tiki style cocktails, take a look after the recipe card right over here.